newborn babe arrives in Bezet land, you will find a note in its chubby little hand. A dietary guide of what it needs right now. Only feed this baby beer and curry squirted from a cow. That's why we mix the DNA of a cow with Vindaloo Add in a gallon of mucky beer, protoplasmic bears its stew A living bovine balty house, the cow is looking worried Orders like a row of bar optics, dispensing mutant beers and curries But now the nursery is covered in a vindaloo slurry Consume 
looks exactly the same, both going in and coming out. Toxic and combustible, nappy a flambeau. It rattles through the baby like a liquefied mambo. Curry filled baby, spurting across the room. Fill it up and watch the little stinker boom and zoom. Self-propelled, and it don't off smell. No nappy can contain the blast. Curry pulvers, bezet, baby in flight. Farting across the room, it sure moves fast. Bellied baby, spurting across the room. Bovine beer makes the little stinker boom and zoom. Bulbous bears and baby, eaten without fear. Never ending diet of curry and cow beer. song to me 
As you squirt in a bucket And the bucket's now a dirty squirty mess So come on all the ones wearing second and French ticklers Come on and hurt it while I hold my squirter down Let's get it socky a clicking While you give it a kicking Like some so far unspecified noun A oh, hurt squirter Hurt it dead fast be my squirter Till the swelling gets bulbous A bulbous and vast Seems this dirty squirter hurt time once again Take a good long run up and Kick us Kick us hard and hurt me squirter Till the swelling gets too big To fit in me knickers Oh, oh no Oh, 
that really punish the dirty little sod. Give me dirty squirt of pain again and again. Don't mind me and don't spare the rock. Oh, won't you please hurt me dirty squirt? There's no time to wait, please hurt it fast. I really need a squirt to hurt her. Cause if it hurts when I squirt, I'll be a reed happy lass. Oh, oh. Ow, ow. No, no, oh, 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 ow. Ow, 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 ow. 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 Waking up in unfamiliar bedrooms Surrounded by owls too exhausted to hoot Pretending the night before to lick a spaceman off the floor Next day it never seemed so cute Yes, I've had some strange unnatural encounters When I look back on my time Some were lots of fun some were empty-headed pouters who refused to touch my pickled line. I got married to the future Hit the marriage in my shoe We were young and ill-advised By a society in a stupor Who convinced us it was what we should do If there ever was a chance That we could have been happy That chance was clearly missed We were betrothed in the past And now even in the present, the time I married is yet to exist. So why do I feel guilty for cheating on the future with a pickled lime? It was hardly my fault that it hadn't arrived yet. We were just in the wrong place, wrong time. I knew that I was stuck in a loveless marriage Feeling sorry for myself When I first saw that jar of lime pickle On the supermarket shelf That spicy concoction had to be mine Such saucy assignations can be so hard to find A stirring in my pants and the back of my mind told me to put my finger in the pickle blind.
are so pickly. Yes, it was a little sickly. I wasn't fussy, it wasn't fickly. Cause when I smeared it on, it got my thingy tickly. Lost at first sight, the jaw was ready to proffer. I couldn't say no, cause it was on special offer. I was so turned on and saw no need to mask it. As I pulled that jaw close and dropped it in my basket. And they were looking at me with those sexy pickle smiles. I needed a divorce so I could take it up the aisle. I felt the cashier could sense I was breaking my vows. Turned down a plastic bag and said, I'm gonna wear it now. And with a squeak of excitement, I screwed off the lid. Popped it wide open to see what it hid. Its juices rose to meet me, glistened, shimmered, and swayed. Then the cashier stopped me, cause I still hadn't paid. Threw the cashier some money and said, keep the change. Get out of my way, it's time to get strange. Checked into a nearby gritty hotel Run by a prostitute donkey, I assumed from the smell But we didn't care, once ensconced in our room Where I filleted that white pickle on the tip of a spoon Blisters on my mouth, blisters on my nose Black pickle in every orifice, I suppose We were wild and relentless Till it made my thingy smart We were both so hot Both a little taut So tell me, why do I worry? Why do I care about cheating on a partner who was never really there? Never really existed, not even in my mind, not even as a concept I could dismiss and leave behind. But as I travel the world, guilt stays with me near and far. A life of pickled remorse with my thingy in a jar. Oh no, as much as I was sorry for cheating, I never whipped my thingy out. 
And now my tickly has got a little tickly. Will the kind of lime glow on the tip of my tiny spout? Date had been approaching fast. So I knew going in that our love couldn't last. Little did I know that it would get more hot. In the passing years, the more sour it got. Gaseous Pumpo Glorianus. Gaseous Pumpo Thud. Lumpy vapors. Drifted out my honors like iridescent lime green mud. Some lovers take a when you eat them of this fact I just wasn't warned but now I know too well that a discharge smell hath no fury like a pickle scorned sour toxic and hazy it made me go crazy then something you came along to fill the hole a microscopic conflagration claiming reincarnation with a jar of lime pickled soul. Tiny bonfire on casters rolling round the town was to be my latest flame. It trundled up to me and burnt my trousers down and said the ghost of lime pickle past was its name. That tiny bonfire had a secret agenda. It was not the love I'd hoped to find. Lime pickles, as we all know, have a very long memory and revenge was on this bonfire's mind. The bonfire trampolined up and down And weaved me a gaseous crown And then with a total lack of grace Cluster guffed all over my face It said for all the ones on whom you did dirty Glorianus On behalf of them here's your prize it's a gaseous splash, as if you needed to ask. Coming right between your eyes. I no longer yearn for fiery lime pickle. That obsession has truly died. You soon realize the things in life that matter. With a cluster guff between the eyes. Gassier splash will always stay on my face, reminding me of what I shouldn't be. In many ways, I was saved by a fiery lime pickle, and if you ask, that's jazz for me.
Too late to get the last number 37 bus of the evening, but oh how I needed to win win. Should have gone before I left the pub. If I don't want me trousers worth the first chance that I get, I need to find and slip behind an accommodating slum. My blood is at the point of overloading. Very soon I won't be in a dry state. My urethra's on the verge of exploding Can't hold it in for much longer than I can't walk straight But on that Friday night there was not a shrub in sight I was still looking when I reached the bush shelter Which was made of plexiglass Nowhere to hide my ass as my yard and my track spiralled into a welter The only other occupant was a little old lady I stood behind her, cause that's what you should do. If you want order in a civilised society, just don't make eye contact while forming a queue. And that is when I noticed the clasp on her handbag was faulty. With everyone distracted by the riot I'd started, if I acted now there'd be no one to hold me. A bladder full of beer can be a curse Sometimes you have to wee wee where you stand Then inside a bag I spied an open purse Inviting me to drain me prostate gland The stars were in alignment on that Friday night A perfect arc of wee wee sailed through the air it landed sublimely in her open purse With such a gentle splash she remained unaware I tinkled and I tinkled and I tinkled some more Mind and body started feeling relief A perfect aim saw not a drop fall down on the floor It was a slashy thing of beauty beyond belief with a pension book and bus pass now fully submerged I realised I wasn't done yet So I continued with my delicate ballet of piss As the rest of her handbag began to get wet Once filled to the brim there came a waterfall You're dancing in the light of the shelter and as it ran down a leg, there was no one to beg The full on riot meant nobody was free to help her Oh, little old lady On the surface she seemed so respectable But the truth is a lot more shady Now that she's become my personal piss receptacle then the side pocket flaps of her old lady Mac Presented more space for my wee wee to hide By gently squeezing the end of my damp little friend I split the stream in two and in one shot I filled both sides Came still, my mind grew calmer With an arc as curved and yellow as a perfect banana Am I awake or caught in a dream Connected to this old lady by my hot golden stream Oh little old lady I don't know you too well But I do know you more than a wee bit damn and you're really starting to smell Oh, little old lady I doubt you thought the night would end like this Stuck in the middle of a bear's head riot Getting soaked in a stranger's piss 
then the number 37 appeared through the mist, caused by the steam coming off the old lady. As she stood there and aware that she was drenched in piss, I could not have laughed more, not even if you paid me. Now, normally, I am a gentleman. I'm sure by now you recognise that in me. But I pushed it aside and took the last seat on the bus so that I was in a good spot to see. And sure enough, the driver wouldn't let it on. The ink on it was pass and run. It was totally soaked in my wee-wee. A bloody night of never-ending fun. The bus driver told the old lady, I really don't know you that well, but I do know you're more than a little bit damp. And you wafted a hot pissy smell, oh little old lady. I appreciate this is the last bus, and you'll be left in the middle of a riot. But you're not getting on here with us. And through the window as the last bus of the night pulled away, we all waved bye bye till she was out of sight. Leaving a piss soaked and stranded in a riot. Perfect end to a great Friday night. Every hour wouldn't have minded an Alsatian, but I have the bottom of a Chihuahua. If I'd been cursed with a big dog's bottom, it would at least have been a closer fit. But I can't balance on a Chihuahua's. I'm not a good boy when told to sit. I woke up one morning with the bottom of a dog. Woke up one morning, one morning with the bottom of a dog I also woke up in mid-summer salt left me and all the penguins agog I went to see the doctor doctor just sent me on to the vet And I went to see the doctor But he sent me on to the vet Vet said there's nothing wrong Coat is shiny, nose is cold and wet 
the pat on the head to send me on my way. It's not the bot I choose So out of desperation I went back to Wolf Monster Wood I pleaded with the stink witch To lift this stupid spell if she could Just made it worse Now she's added to the curse Just for fun to watch me squirm She's given me worms Went home to find that I was still hovering there In midsummer assault You see I never learned how to come back down so the hovering at least was all my fault. Naughty boy, what a naughty boy. Put myself in the doghouse, my tail fixed firmly between my legs. Seems I'll be left like this forever. No matter how much I may beg Have to live my life With the bottom of a dog And penguins in a permanent agog When I went to sleep the night before I didn't have a care Didn't have a dog's bottom Wasn't hovering in midair But I woke the morning after With a case of canine Kafkas A stinkwitch curse subordinate With a bot that's disproportionate Dark bottom blues left me out in the cold. Can't balance on a chihuahua's bot. Can't sit when I'm told. Dark bottom blues, not the bot I would choose. Dark bottom blues.
once suggested she smelled funny All the wood is held to ransom with an itch that won't wane She found his comment so seductive that her nasha got running Now she wants to ride his knackered pace again and again And now he's made Wolf Monster Warden into 
of species dug inside Where he invites Tony Mites to peel off his eyes and give him a nasty fright A super villain with no portfolio He's never committed a crime But he's an interspecies dog inside Romeo And the night's still young so give it time You gotta run against the badger Push him over when you collide So far nobody has ever succeeded And even fewer could be bothered to try But if you run at him and don't push him over Soon you'll be sucking on your final breath Cause if you bounce off and the badger's still standing He'll flap his stripy wings and honk your ass to death. Obvious that the goose is a Nazi. He gives it away with every step that he takes. Run against the badger. Run at him or die. To want the badger. Badger makes me. Creatures start to gather for another night of smut. They circle an elk with a haddock and a whelk and a rally one spat on one foot. They all take turns hiding in the bushes while peeping at a lady's shoe. And if you were there in this wet nightmare, be honest now, wouldn't you? Rhino, but not as God intended. And half a ton of nuns for the easily offended men all across the wood. The stink witch's pants go flood. The doggers scatter, fixed on their survival. And like the pounding hum of a jungle drum, a throbbing undercarriage heralds her arrival. Them remain at that grotty dog in sight. A badger goose menage a trois ought to see her night. The goose and imaginary badger chose to answer the stink witch call for a soggy two creature threesome to be splashed against the wall. They coil up inside each other till they're too tight to squeak. And while the badger eats her knickers off, the goose gives her some peek.
makes me cry quite a lot. Quite a lot. The badger makes me cry quite a lot. Come and have a cry if you think you're mad enough. around his ankles. Watch him sob and strain, grimace, grunt and preen as he tries in vain to give birth to a wasp. Sleep. 
gathered around and prayed there may still be hope, it seems. None so cold and cruel as fate. When his war is finally broke, it was just too late. A mere 37 seconds after he had died, there was a rambling and a buzzing coming from inside. The old man should have taken a more pastoral for once he'd finally stopped fracturing, his punani went slack. His infant son could finally see a way out of this tomb, and with a flash and a splash, the wasp zoomed from the womb. And as the infant wasp began its bleed and fly through the belt loops of his father's waistband, the pants got pulled back up and fastened tight by the fleshy Twanged between their glands. For the very first time, the orphan wasp was there. Wait, 